I, I, I just, I just, I just don't see it happening. Skip, I just see so many good young quarterbacks. I thought Mahomes had a chance. Had he gotten to the Super Bowl and won this, he'd have kind of been on that Brady trajectory. I don't think people realize that in Brady's first five years, he was 9-0 in the playoffs with three Super Bowls and two Super Bowl MVPs. That's what he's up against. Now, he was in a division that most of the time you win your division, you get home games. You go against Miami. They couldn't find a quarterback. Mm. Marino had retired in 99. Yep. Jim Kelly had retired in, at, I think, 98. Yep. And so those they were looking for a quarterback in the Jets. They were going with Chad Pennington and all over the place. Yep. So he felt if, if they got to 12 and 4, 13 and 3, Skip, they were going to have home field. They're going to bring you there. Okay. So you get off to that great start in your first five years. And then, Skip, he had like a, a decade run where he didn't, he didn't win any Super Bowls. It was even tough for him to get back to the Super Bowl because you had Manning. All of a sudden, Manning went out. You know, they were out. Of, they're not no longer in the same division, but they're still in the same conference. Mm -hmm. And you got Big Ben, got a little better. And so now it was even tougher for him not only to like, get to the uh, Super Bowl, but uh, win the Super Bowl, but just get there because of Manning stopped him three times. Uh, Roethlisberger had gotten better. Flacco, even though he was a, a terrible regular season quarterback, come playoff time, Joe was as clutch as big time as we've ever seen. Ever. <laughs> I mean, I'll put his, his playoff numbers against anybody. A exactly. Elway Marino had retired. Favre was, you know, Favre was, was not the same guy anymore. And so, Skip, I, I, just, I just don't see it. You got Mahomes, but you got Burrow and Herbert in the AFC and Josh Allen. I don't know if we've seen that level of quarterback that young, Skip, these, all these guys are under 26. It's not like one of them. It's not like when uh, 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 Brady and, and, and Manning, they're in their 30s, and then there's another 22-year-old. Skip, all these guys are under 26. They're in the same conference. We just saw Patrick Mahomes have to beat Josh Allen last year. Got knocked off by Joe Burrow this year. So it's not easy, and he got knocked off. Now Manning is gone. I mean, excuse me. Brady is gone now. I just feel... Uh, I think the thing is, is that we took for granted what Tom Brady was actually doing when he was doing it. Because now when we look back at it, there were very few times that he lost games like Patrick Mahomes lost. And if he got the ball in overtime, you never saw it. Because before the rules became you had to score a touchdown, he was always going to get his team in field goal range, and Vinatieri or Goskowski was going to knock it through, and oh well. Yep. And if you needed a touchdown, he was going to get the touchdown. Skip, I just don't see it. I think Aaron Rodgers is – I've given Aaron Rodgers a decade to challenge Tom Brady for the GOAT staff. I've given him a decade. He has the individual accolades, but at some point in time, you've got to get your team. Yep. And that's what Tom Brady – Tom Brady – was able to get his team in situations. You're like, huh? 10 points? Tom Brady needs 10, Tom Brady gonna get 13. Tom Brady needs 14, he's gonna get you 17. That's what normally happens with him. So Skip, I, I just don't see it. I, honestly, mm. I just don't see it. I, I've tried, I've racked my brain when I found out this was gonna be a topic, and I just thought, okay, can Mahomes, can Mahomes do it? I thought Mahomes had an outside chance. I didn't think he'd get the seven, but I said, you know what? He can have us make us have a serious discussion about this because here's the guy in his third Super Bowl in his fourth year of starting with a chance to win it. So he, uh, uh, three Super Bowl appearances, four years starting, winning two of them, two Super Bowl MVPs. Okay, we got to have a discussion. We can see where this thing goes, Skip. He's still got another 12 years. Mm. But, Skip, I just don't see it. I just think these guys are going to just, they're just going to pick each other off. It's, Skip, it's kind of like, let's just say for the sake of argument, if Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic didn't cross each, across each other, how many slams would they have? They would have 35, but they played each other and they, they chopped each other up. And they, uh, the dog got 20, and the other two, uh, 21, the other two got 20. Yep. But how many? You got Federer and the dog, Djokovic, uh, 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 Pete Sampras, all the, and they're the same age. At least Federer is older. Federer is what, 41, and you got the dog 36, and you got think you got Joker at 32. So there's a gap. Skip, these guys are all these guys are like 23, 24, 25, 26. Mm. I don't see it. I've tried to rack my mind. I just don't see it. I don't. Yeah. If I can continue your tennis analogy, <laughs> you can look at Serena's career and say, oh, she just didn't really face high-level competition. You know what? She, she did, but she was one of one. Yes. She destroyed them. Yes. Both psychologically yes. and physically, yes. she destroyed. She laid right. waste to the whole 
a lot of them. Yes. However deep it went, she just said, you, 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 you. And now we look back and say, ah, they weren't anything. Well, she made them look like nothing. Yeah, they would have been and, a lot better had she not been there. That's correct. <laughs> So I, I can't let you quite get away with this because you're betting on the come. I, I love all the young quarterbacks. Yeah. I love Joe Burrow. I don't know yet. They have to prove it. They're going to have chances. They might pick each other off because they're all sort of the same. <laughs> right. they're, they're all just pretty good, and they're going to beat each other up, right. and nobody's going to stand tall because right. they can't. Right. Nobody's going to be good enough because Tom Brady was one of one. Yes. He was so rare that he was unique. Right. He, he was something we've never seen in leadership and big game clutch intangibles. That's what separated him from the pack. What's the likelihood of they have the same coach? Mahomes, Burrow, Allen, uh, Herbert, all have the same coach for 20 years, like Tom Brady. All have I mean, own. Mahomes is in a pretty sweet spot. He's in a great yeah, spot. Yeah. So he's had Andy for five years. Mm -hmm. So he's going to need Andy for 15 more years. You feel comfortable saying Andy's going to be? I don't, I don't, I don't think, think so either. So. Okay, what about ownership? That The owner that Mr. Kraft said all you... All this plays, it does. It, it all contributes to your situation. Yes. It, it's, it's a lot of times situations. It's why coaches come and go. It's because, do you have a quarterback or you don't have a you quarterback? Don't. Okay. I'm just going to remind you that Brady has faced in his era. When I look at the top 10 in all-time passing yards, well, he's at the top, but as you well know, Drew Brees is second. These are all mm -hmm. contemporaries of Tom Brady that he had to overcome at right. different points. Right. Uh, Peyton was obviously third. He had lots. He had trouble with Peyton. Yes. You know, Peyton was kind of a nemesis right. for him, right? Who's fourth on that list? Brett Favre. He did face Favre a couple times. Favre was actually the Jets quarterback, quarterback. the year Tom was gone. Right. When he, Towards, towards ACL, yes. so so that didn't work. But okay, let's go down the list. Roethlisberger, number five mm -hmm. overall on the all-time list. So he had to deal with Big Ben, and he had to deal with Philip Rivers, who is sixth on that list. Uh, we'll skip down to eighth. He, he definitely had to face Matt Ryan, yep. who's eighth overall on Super that list. Bowl, yep. Okay, and, and he was down twenty-eight to three to right. Matt Ryan. You know the rest of that story. Number nine on the all-time passing list is Eli right. Manning. Mm -hmm. Well, you're talking about right. Kryptonite, right. okay, there's kryptonite. That's number nine. And then we go down to number 10 on the list. Well, that's Aaron Rodgers. Well, he did go up there last year, and he beat him in right. his own house mm -hmm. at his own game, right? right. Okay, so, so I just gave you nine of the top 10 that he had to face. And you mentioned Joe Flacco, and I'll also throw in Russell Wilson, who's not on the all-time right. list yet. He may get there at some point. But the, you want to talk about proven, decorated quarterbacks? But a lot of those Ooh. guys he faced on the other side. Imagine, you're going to have to get to the Super Bowl. You're going to have to go through one of them. Like he was having to go through the Super Bowl. And like you said, Peyton, it, Peyton, yeah. it, it became. So just think if there was no Peyton, dude going to go to skip. That's another three Super Bowls he's going to be in. Because Peyton beat him in the championship game. So mm -hmm. that's another three Super Bowls he's about to be in. Well, Peyton so, beat him. Three times. Twice in Denver and once in the Indy. In championship games. Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's another three. So that's 13 Super Bowl appearances. Okay. All right, but but let's not discount no, this group. No, 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 and by no. the way, I didn't name the one quarterback he faced in his first Super Bowl. Kurt Warner's right. a Hall of Famer, so I'll throw him on top of the list. Not all-time passing yardage, right. but he just had a movie made about his life, so he's <laughs> yeah. pretty good. Yes. No, 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 Skip. I just think the thing is is that Tom had the perfect storm. And we hit, it's funny that the movie happened some, uh, like in Boston, the perfect storm, the movie. Uh, Mark Wahlberg did a mm -hmm. great job in it is that he had the perfect storm. He had a coach that was there for two decades. He did. He had ownership that stayed out of the way. I'll, I'll they give got you no, that. They got no TV show. They got no radio show. Mm -hmm. They wanted no. And Mr. Kraft goes out of his way. He said, no, 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 no. This is not about me. This is about the players and coaches. I know a guy that if they said it about him, he's like, yeah, I did a good job. You see the talent that I accumulated? It's not about the players and coaches. I ain't going to tell you. Your guy. But anyway, because your guy could have been the New England Patriots before the New England Patriots were the New England Patriots. Which guy are we talking about? Jerry Jones. Oh, that guy. Yeah, okay. your, your, the Cowboys could have been the Patriots before the Patriots because they won their third Super Bowl. Emmitt Smith probably was about 26. Troy Aikman was probably 27. Michael Irvin was 27. They were. Yep. But he blew it all up because of why. Mr. Kraft has swallowed pride after pride after pride. I'm sure he and Coach Belichick is butted heads. But six Super Bowls in 20 years is hard to uh, – hold on, six is uh, – so six plus another three they lost. So nine appearances in 20 years mm. with six wins. I'm going to stand back and keep my mouth shut. Did Robert Kraft or his son ever name themselves the general manager? <laughs> no, they did not. No. Do they do radio shows? No, no they, they don't do not. anything. Mr. Thank Kraft you. don't do it. He, he, 
he's a behind the scenes. He's a he's a powerful man without letting you know he's powerful. You, I mean, very seldom does he speak. He's a very engaging man. I like him. Been around him a little bit. Yeah, I like him. He he's he, and you could understand. But it's so Skip. That's the thing. He had the perfect storm. Now, I, I'm, not, I'm not taking anything away from him. Tom still did what he did, but it's a lot easier, Skip, when there is not, there is not the bickering, the head coach and the owner, the owner and the general manager, the general manager and the head coach, the, the uh, head coach and the quarterback. Everything was in unison for the better part 15, 16 years. Now, we knew how it uh, ultimately unraveled because you believe there were more Super Bowls to be won had Coach Belichick kept Tom Brady in that situation. And it's hard to argue considering that he went somewhere after one year and he got one. Let's not underestimate what an imperfect storm it sometimes became because Belichick was as old school as you can get. Yeah. And he got away with coaching old school, with with tearing players apart verbally on practice mm -hmm. field and in, yeah. in meetings. Yeah because Tom was his locker room buffer. So Tom had to sometimes overcome the, the internal sort of rebellion against Belichick's tyrannical coaching right. ways. It, it, it was, I, I think it was very difficult to play for Bill Belichick, and I think oh, it was yeah. difficult for Tom Brady to play yeah. for Bill Belichick. But Skip, you know this. Once a coach wins a Super Bowl, it's hard for the players to ever be right. Yeah. I mean, once you win one, you win two, you win three. Yeah, I agree. Who did, how you gonna argue with four? How you want you five? Uh huh? Mm. Six. Yep. Just you just just come in and and, and put your hat on the uh, on the wall and and you just go to work. But Belichick was all about my system transcends any cog in the system. So it often felt like he didn't even care who the cogs were. Right. He had that Brady mentality of I'll just take anybody. As long as they'll do it my way, right. I don't care how talented they are. If I got them in the seventh round, it doesn't matter to but me. But he's finding out that's not the case. It, that's, he's, he's getting exposed uh, Skip, now. of course. Right. Every, what coach doesn't believe is his system? <laughs> yep. Andy Reid's Re system didn't look like this when Donovan, no disrespect to Donovan, mm -hmm. it didn't look like it did when Patrick Mahomes running no, it. It did not. When Alex Smith ran that exact same offense. It didn't look like that. I'll buy that. So, so for this notion, and the West Coast system, Kyle Shanahan, that's the West Coast system. It don't look like Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you know how much I love Joe Burrow. But yeah. I'm betting on the come because <laughs> I see that's about as close to Brady as I can get right now from what I see left. But it's Cincinnati. He, he's about to play in his first Super Bowl, and I don't trust his owner. His his owner's been a mom and cheap. pop. On, he's very cheap. Cheap. Chip off his you think he go, block. Hold on. Do you think he's going to pay Joe Burrow $300 million? Because that's probably going to be the going rate by the time by the time Joe Burrow is able to get a deal skip. Yeah. It's probably going to be $300 million. Okay, so my point is Joe Burrow is about to play in his first Super Bowl. Wait, Tom Brady played in 10. Yes. He won seven. Yes. He could have won a couple more. Yes. What? Well, well Forget about it. The only guy that had a chance, Skip, remember, we talked about Mahomes, because in five in his first five years, he had gone to three yep. and won two Super Bowl I MVPs. So it. Patrick Mahomes was the only. So we get Joe Burrow in the next three years, you got to get at least two more Super Bowls okay. and win them. Last quick point about Patrick Mahomes. I, I dare you, anybody out there, to go look up Patrick Mahomes' numbers in the Super Bowl that he won when he threw two interceptions, mm -hmm. the Super Bowl he lost to Brady. Look at his numbers and then look at his numbers in the second half the other day. I'm just not sold yet. I get it. He, he's MVP quality caliber. Mm -hmm. He can be spectacular. Is he that guy? Does he have Brady-esque intangibles? I haven't seen he, that he, on a he's, consistent he's, basis. He's a different. He's going to more so wow you with his ability to yep. make plays outside of the pocket. I agree. Brady's going to be a guy that's going to wow you more so inside the pocket. He's going to just, it's systematic. Skip, it's a, it's a, uh, just like you're building a car. It. Everything is on the, it's an assembly line. Yep. He's an assembly line. But, but it's, it's pure leadership where yeah. everybody's going to follow him. And I'm not sure Patrick has become that guy yet. We'll right. see. Coach Belichick, I mean, I don't think either guy, Coach Belichick, we take for granted him, and we definitely took Tom Brady for granted. But you're going to find out over the next decade when you find a different guy winning the Super Bowl damn near every year, you're like, well, hold on, Tom Brady was winning three in four years. Mm. Yeah. Tom Brady went to five in like six years, seven years. Makes it look easy. And yeah. we all know <laughs> it's not it easy. not easy. And geez, Shannon, you know, you went to three, and <laughs> yeah. it's like crazy to in think about just how impressive that is. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.